motorcycles have been special machines that many people cannot give up. Think of a machine, you have all the control and you can feel the wind. Our list of the weirdest motorcycle designs includes bikes we think you've never seen before. Today, we will talk about engines that surprise those who see them with both their designs and features. Let's move on to our video without wasting time. Dear viewers, don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the new videos. Number 1. You know Decycle. When Canadian teenager Ben Gulak visited China in 2006, he saw how many small vehicles are causing major pollution in cities. His solution was a self-balancing electric motorcycle with two wheels mounted side by side. The concept he came up with is where the driver leans forward to accelerate like a Segway, and steering is controlled by raising the left and right wheel accordingly to initiate the turn. The first test drive resulted in a crash and broken kneecap for Gulak, after which subsequent tests caused electrical fires. A California robotic engineer joined Gulak's efforts, and in 2008 it won an award as one of the top 10 inventions of the year according to Popular Science magazine. Number 2. Majestic. Not just weird and beautiful, the Majestic was also revolutionary. The ideas George Roy brought forward with his motorbike are still being explored by designers, and the questions he asked in 1929 broke new ground for automakers. Roy was one of the first industrial designers to introduce mass production techniques for automotive manufacturing and, in particular, the use of stamping bodywork out using metal presses as well as the gas tank, frame, and forks. He is also credited with pushing the idea of a monocoque design forward. Number 3. Braves Mono Tracer MTE 150. What you're looking at this is a 1,200 pounds battery powered enclosed cabin motorcycle. As a side benefit of being incredibly efficient, the Mono Tracer made 200 horsepower while going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds and topping out at 150 miles per hour. There were a few issues when it first showed up in 2013 though. The base price for the Swiss-built electric vehicle was around $100,000, and when they first tried to bring it to the United States the Environmental Protection Agency, U.S. Customs, and the Transportation Department wouldn't let it in. Number 4. Box. The idea of a small motorbike or scooter that fits in the trunk of a car is not a new one. Or, it turned out, a particularly useful one. This one definitely went for functionality over form. The Box Corporation scooter website nails a bunch of buzzwords like eco-friendly, compact, and minimalistic while the company also claims it's the most stable two-wheeled vehicle available. This electric motorcycle, which looks like a box or a bag, can also be used in places such as shopping malls and airports with its small and can fit anywhere. While there are places where you will have difficulty entering with a standard size motorcycle in congested traffic, you never have such a problem with box. Number 5. Piaggio MP3? Piaggio is an Italian company that goes all the way back to 1884, and produces small motorbikes, and commercial vehicles under that brand name, but also recognizable brands such as Vespa, Apilla, and Motoxi. For the MP3, Piaggio switched up the tricycle idea to put the two wheels together at the front. This meant a motorcycle that made it easy to ride. Although it looks a little more normal than its siblings, it's still an interesting bike. Number 6. Rogan Trail Breaker. Unlike the box scooter, the Rogan Trail Breaker is an incredibly useful, and pure utility and action-packed motorcycle. Between the name and looking at Trail Breaker you know what this thing is all about. Driving experience with the Rogan Trail Breaker is like riding an ATV on two wheels. Up to 60% gradient can pass through hills. It's just 200 centimeters long and has a 129 centimeters wheelbase, but these aggressive looking tires are 30 centimeters wide. Let's say it's a slow motorcycle. Because he does everything slowly. For example, it travels in water at a depth of 60 centimeters. Roken is among the oldest motorcycle manufacturers. 
The Trailbreaker model was produced in 1960, and still looks like a very original prototype. Number 7. Megola. It's not just the armchair-like seating position on the Megola showing up in 1920 that makes it weird, or even the long handlebars. The Megola predates the Majestic for a monocoque design and is powered by a 640cc 5-cylinder radial engine mounted inside the front wheel's spokes. The simplicity of the engine and little power loss to mechanical drag makes it very efficient, except for the fact it has no clutch or gearbox, and no neutral. Traffic lights weren't commonplace in the 1920s, but that still makes stopping and starting a big pain in the ass. Which could explain the particularly comfortable looking seat. Number 8. Vespa 150 Tap. The Vespa 150 Tap was built for French paratroopers in 1956, by Ateliers de Construction de Motorcycles et Automobiles. Basically, somebody had the bright idea of taking a scooter, and mounting an American-made light anti-armor cannon on the side, that they could drop out of an airplane in pairs along with a two-man team. It was never designed to fire the cannon directly from the Vespa, but that doesn't change the fact it's an anti-tank moped. It doesn't get cooler than that for a Vespa. Number 9. White Lock Tinker Toy. What's got 48 cylinders and two wheels? The answer to that question nobody has actually asked is the insane, and white lock tinker toy. Except, technically it has 49 cylinders because British bike nut Simon White Lock needed to add a 5cc two-stroke engine to get the main engine started. Built for the sake of it, the Tinker Toys engine is made up of three-cylinder stacks built using 16 Kawasaki KH250S engines, that are somehow mated to a BMW motorcycle transmission. The bike itself runs after a startup procedure but, apparently, barely rides. We don't care about that though because it has a 48-cylinder engine. Number 10. Rodog. Rodog Wild is a motorcycle produced by Bill Jelped in 1962, a total of two units. The Rodog is the weirdest motorcycle to tell the truth. The Rodog uses a four-cylinder 152 cubic inch Chevrolet 2 engine. It has also been modified with a power glide gearbox. The Chevrolet engine is connected to the differential, and the motorcycle uses Corvette disc brakes. The motorcycle is built using a long frame chrome mole steel tubing and due to its weight, a kickstand is not mounted. Instead, the motorcycle stands using hydraulic jacks on all four sides. The motorcycle is currently on permanent display at the National Motorcycle Museum. Dear viewers, these are the information we have prepared about the 10 weirdest motorcycles you will ever see. And, don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.